Morning, everybody. It is 7 a.m. on a Monday morning, and I'm taking the day off work to do some studying today, but I don't feel like starting yet. Uh, so I figured I might as well do a video because it's been a while since I've had you guys updated. Been pretty busy lately. I started building a um, hydroponic system for growing herbs in my room here. I just need to finish the lights for that, and that'll be ready to go. Finished the PC grow system, uh, the second version, and it seems to be doing pretty well so far. As usual, I'm doing deep water culture hydroponics. This plant is in a 2.2 liter container. Um, right now, I'm growing dwarf low flyer, and I got these seeds from Crop King, who for this plant advertises a six week flowering time. This plant is 45 days old right now, and it's 30 days into flower, so just over four weeks. So if Crop King is correct about their timeline, I should be chopping her down in about two weeks. <clears throat> this enclosure is 18 inches by 18 by 6 inches deep. Um, it's pretty narrow, I've found. I can't really get this thing closed without squishing the plant, uh, which I really don't want to do, so I've just actually been keeping it open. So I've got this new carbon filter design here. <clears throat> um, it seems to be working okay, but the issue is that with this enclosure open all the time, I don't think the fan is strong enough to, to keep the air inside or, or to maintain a negative pressure. So I haven't really been able to properly test it out. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do is build another enclosure that's 12 inches by 12 inches by 18 inches high because this height seems to be quite good and the plant doesn't seem to be occupying all of the all of the space in the side direction here. I mean, I'll just grab a ruler here. <clears throat> so I think I think 12 inches should be fine uh, in both directions. So that'll give me a chance to really test out this carbon filter here. Uh, if, uh, if any of you would like to try it out yourself, <clears throat> I have uploaded the files for the carbon filter, the STL files, on my Patreon page. Uh, the link is in the video description for that. Uh, the files for this carbon filter are free so no donation necessary, you can just go to the page, download the files, print it out, try it, let me know how that goes for you. Uh, it takes probably about four hours to print altogether, and I just fill it with activated charcoal that you would usually use for a fish tank. <clears throat> uh, on, on both edges, you just need to cover it with some porous material, so I've actually just been using bounce sheets, which should allow for gas exchange well making sure that that carbon doesn't spill out. <clears throat> I have got a custom LED board here. Uh, this is what I will be using for my future grows. Uh, this is a board that I made myself. Um, designed it on Easy EDA and I down, or I uh, ordered the PCBs from JLC PCB. Uh, for 10 of them it cost me about 100 bucks. <clears throat> and I am currently using, I think they're Samsung LH351 LEDs. Uh, I can't exactly remember the name with confidence, but they're Samsung's new 3535 footprint LEDs. So this uh, this light is pulling about 40 watts. So I was a little unsure if that would be enough, but the plant seems to be doing quite well. Uh, aside from a little bit of, it looks like there's some nutrient toxicity that's starting to show here. Um, but that would be from an excess of light, if anything. Uh, so otherwise they seem pretty healthy though. I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I'll uh, keep you guys updated. In two weeks or so, if I decide to chop her down, I'll do another update video and go over the yield and get some better shots of this thing when it's out of the enclosure. And uh, until then, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you have any questions, please comment. Um, and yeah, see you next time.